listen to each other. That's the key. <laughs> Even experienced improvers sometimes forget that rule. And they go way off, and nobody knows where they're going. All right. Uh, the st title of a story that's never been written. Sir. Surviving in, in the wilds of a, of a rim shalt winter. Surviving in the wilds of a rim shalt shalt. Rim Schultz. Rim Schultz. Rim Rim Schultz. Blah, blah. I'm not enough coffee yet. A Rim Schultz winter. Surviving in the wilds of a Rim Schultz winter. That's a good line for a refrain, isn't it? It is. Surviving well, in the wilds of a Rim Schultz winter. Only if you're not having a topic time. Yeah. All right. Very much. All right. You ready? Well, that was closer. closer. It really helps with listening if you're shoulder to shoulder. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> The Rimschult Winter. Now, I know all of you know what exactly a Rimschult Winter is, but in case you hadn't heard before, I will explain. A Rimschult Winter is the most unusual kind of winter because it is hot. Really? It is so hot. Oh, I <laughs> It is so hot, the fat drips away from your body. It's the greatest place in the world for losing weight. And every single morning when you wake up, you step out of your tent, you take a deep breath into the gorgeous boiling air, which sears your lungs and you cough and you wish you had given up smoking years ago. <laughs> but you can't give up smoking because you love it so. But this particular Rimschult winter happened in the Tenshin Basin beneath the Pamir Mountains. <laughs> and <laughs> Where Horace the Tortoise and Ernie the Penguin had migrated trying to get away from the horrible summers in Horace's homeland and the horrible winters in Ernie's homeland. Ernie was having a very hard time surviving in this climate, and Horace was equally bereft because it suited neither of them well. Fortunately, they had brought along a little bit of ice in the coolers. Sadly, this meant that they couldn't have any chilled beverages, which proved to be a great, great, great source of despair for the both of them. Ernie and Horace decided they needed to do something. So, they decided perhaps it would be cooler at the top of the mountains. Climbing painstakingly up the mountains, Horace at times carrying Ernie on his shell. They made their way slowly, hoping, hoping for a chance of a bit of cool f Air or beverage. <laughs> <laughs> they looked over and discovered a tiny little rivulet going down the mountain. The rivulet was named uh, Ernestina. <laughs> it was made of beer! <laughs> Finally, heaven! They drank and drank, but then Ernest realized he shouldn't drink someone named Ernestina. <laughs> <laughs> he was feeling mighty bereft. He was feeling terrible. His guilt was overwhelming him. Uh, on the other hand, it was a rivulet of beer, and therefore they did survive the Rimschult winter. And the moral of the story is. Uh, I don't know. Penguins and tortoises shouldn't move to the. <laughs> yes! <laughs>